A few months ago, Fortnite hosted FNCS Globals, the biggest Fortnite tournament since the World Cup. And somehow, a cheater was able to qualify for the event. Now, today, we're going to be reacting to Reese Hub's video and coverage of it. Now, I do come from the region and do operate an org in the region of which this actually happened. So, I do have some interesting insight into it all. This should be a fun watch. Big shout out to Reese Hub for making this video. You guys should go subscribe to his channel. First link in the description. He makes great competitive content. So, if you like competitive Fortnite, make sure to subscribe to him. It seems like Alrighty. hackers in Fortnite are everywhere. Tournaments, yes, sir. TikTok. It's gotten a little better, the to be fair. Global Championship. In order to understand how a cheater managed it. to qualify to the biggest Fortnite event of the year, you first have to understand how good Fortnite's anti cheat is. Do you think for the average person trying to cheat, it's easy to cheat in Fortnite, or is it actually I don't know difficult how and just like a select group of people understand how to do it? a cheat developer yeah, really on an difficult. interview. Um, I think a lot of people don't give these anti-cheats in the private. I think That's crazy. Anti-cheat is one of the best anti-cheats we've ever, I've ever, like, it's, it's not even close. Um, if you ask anyone who actually knows what they're talking about, these anti-cheat is very good. Now, I know what you're thinking when you hear that. I see mm. cheaters all the time at the top of the yeah. skirmish leaderboards and tournaments, that. and I see pros complaining about them and dying to cheaters every tournament. So how could Fortnite's anti-cheat possibly be good? Well, there's actually two good explanations. I saw this one. The yeah, TV1, Muzz, and Koopa. It's crazy. Cheating. To drastically oversimplify the matter, say there easy There were so many cheaters in the OG skirmishes. It was so bad. of cheating in Fortnite. Eventually, you didn't need any someone will figure out a way to create a sixth method that will be undetected. Easy anti cheat then has to find out how these players were undetected and then ban them. Then the cheat developers have to figure out what was detected and then recreate a new cheat. Essentially, this cycle just infinitely repeats, meaning cheaters are going to always be one step ahead of any anti cheat. This means there's going to be periods where cheating isn't that bad and other times where they just run rampant. Then, if you combine this with the current throwback skirmishes having no rank requirement, yeah, that, to that enter, was, that was then honestly you're just naturally going to have. A so stupid. With a lot like, of cheaters at the top. I will say so that many a lot cheaters of the in this cheaters who've placed at the top of these leaderboards have already been banned and also removed, which leads me to my second explanation of how the easy anti cheat works. The way that it works is say you have a cheat that is detected, um, but you know, you're the only user, you'll be able to play for a little bit. So you'd be able to play. They know you're cheating, they'd identify it. Um, but then as more use, and they wouldn't ban you. And the, that is more users came onto your cheat, and they, mm -hmm. they're monitoring this automatically. Mm -hmm. That's uh, so wild. As more users come onto your sheet, they'll ban wave you. Um, oh. And, yeah, and they'll make it very difficult for you to really understand what is detected in your sheet. No, it's, it's it's legitimately hard to cheat in Fortnite. I think I've been banned from Fortnite like over a hundred times. Of it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I just think that like you can look on Twitter and you see all these people cheating. You go on TikTok and you see all these people cheating. But I mean, if you can get these people to last like over a week or so. Yeah, that's just, the thing. It's, it's, so it's, it's easy to cheat, happen. but it's not it, easy to stay from, like, cheating. Uh, from Epic's point of view in these mm. tournaments where they let people play, like it makes a lot more sense because if they can get all of these people who are trying to go for longevity uh, and just ban them all at the same time, it's a lot better than um, just banning people instantly. So, like, because if you get banned instantly, then you know you're active, and then you can keep testing and figure out what's detected and you know, get around it. Cheaters are nearly exclusively playing tournaments and are in high elo lobbies, so pro players mm. will have seen way more than the average person. But outside yeah, of high elo tournaments, most players will have only ever seen one or two cheaters in their entire time playing the game, which at minimum shows how much better Fortnite's anti-cheat is than the majority of other games out there. Does that so make sense? These people are cheating for question. money. <laughs> how many of the top pros around the world does Odin believe are currently cheating? I don't think really any of that, to be honest with you. If you're able to go for months at a time, uh, there's something very special and you're extremely, you know, lucky um, or you're just not cheating. Right. I, I just, it's just, um, it's just so rare. Like I, I've, I've really not seen people go for months at a time. If you go back a few years ago, I think like the first like high profile ban was Kez KD. Uh, what was it like? the? How do you remember this? Like not a lot of people know, but that wasn't his first ban. Oh. So pretty much like, yeah, so with the sheet that they were using, there wasn't that many people on it. I knew someone who mm -hmm. was on it. And um, basically, they all got banned one day. Uh, and Kaz KD yeah, I didn't really know about messaged. This. I do remember when every person who used the sheet got unbanned and got 2,000 V-Bucks. And then fast forward to the Frosty Frenzy and they all got banned again. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you'll have a bunch of these pros who get banned. Like, an Epic just won't say anything. Um, there was another person who got banned who a lot of people just would never suspect. I don't think he's even been called out. Um, yeah. Named Flalism. I think that is. Um, oh. Yeah. Well, his main account's banned. Uh, and he just changed 
Yeah, he just changed the name. So if Easy and he cheat makes it. Fair enough. Yeah, all I want to know is did Kquid cheat? Everyone, the guy who won FNCS with Jinx like three years ago, was he cheating? Because we still don't know. So difficult for accounts to remain undetected for weeks at time. How did a cheater manage to qualify to the but FNCS Global Championship? Since OCE is the smallest region with the smallest player base, Represent. Actually, they also get the least amount of qualification slots, being five total. There's my boy, the Sun Power player getting. Two, Killed off in major three, and then one in the additional lap. Okay, so this is like probably a little bit of a pause point, but yeah, I just want everyone to emphasize this, that like for each major, this is the first time we've ever had top two be a thing, by the way, in major three. And I think that's what changed this from being a cataclysmic, like kind of honestly storm. It because i mean if you guys don't know what happened in major three we did get second place and that still is a qualification spot like alex and Worthy did get scammed out of a decent amount of money but they still did get to go to globals last chance if they major. didn't this meant in order to qualify you would have to win your region or just come second in one of the four qualifiers very difficult for even the best players in that region first so major hard. was won by anon and sons who will absolutely come hey, back let me to pause later. on this real quick and sons looter got second <laughs> so bad for my boy. Oh, Lunar and Volk's got second. I think they choked the last game. If they actually did decent the last game, they would have qualified. Come on, Lunar man. Absolutely. Come back, back with later, Volks, though, so hopefully they, they qualify next season. Major two, that meant that Sorf and Skits in second place were and given worthy the global third championship place. qualification. Jinx in so fourth as well, by the, the way. Major of the year, Major number three, and a lot of the region's best teams were yet to qualify. Notably, Alex and Worthy, the region's yeah. best duo, and Pumpkin and Volks. Volks have qualified to the same event the year prior, but was disqualified yeah. for being in a Discord call with Pumpkin in a small that was solar still tournament. Crazy, he man. Second in Major one, meaning he just missed out on qualification by. 12 points but there's oh. one team who is making waves in major three and that was jace and repulse what's like the longest an account of yours has been cheating on and not banned for well obviously the best one is like repulse. you know what's crazy about moose i won a cup with him ages ago like in chapter two season three i won a cup with him it was like one of those beginner cups that you had you couldn't have champs to play in i, I won a cup with this guy i think it's just funny it's amazing <laughs> like Six, seven months ago and it only got banned manually because it's like the tweets he wasn't so. cheating back now, then repulse is one of the best I, I OCE know. keyboard mouse players I don't know, in the first few I don't think years of fortnite's release even placing fourth at dreamhack anaheim 2020 a lan event very impressive for a player from such a small yeah, region, our best, but come to the like, end of 2021 and he would quit and disappear from the that was a big reason we entirely. signed strange repulse you guys may not remember, we originally signed Repulse to power uh, when we first started. Yeah, he had the best placement out of any OC player internationally at that fourth place at DreamHack. So on his return, Repulse was goaded. 2023, he would be playing controller. He actually played a week of yeah. FNCS in Major 2 with a player named Slixen, or Slix, I don't know how to pronounce it. He stopped playing with Slixen for Major 2 and instead decided to play with Jace for quite an interesting reason. And like, uh, we thought it was a good idea anyway, because like playing with a legit player, you know, like it's... You're not going to look as obvious as you would come to Cheeto. With absolutely no difficulty, they made it through the three weekly qualifiers and had made it to the Major 3 Grand Finals. Yeah, everyone I mean, in Alex's everyone box like on that. OCE knew that this was not Repulse playing. I I've seen a few people in the comments say that it was an overstretch that everyone knew. No, everyone knew. Every like I knew from the day, like the all the pros are telling me like, look, it's this is how it is, this is the deal. Can't really do much about it. Fortnite not doing much about it. I try and hit up all my Fortnite contacts. I, I tweet about this, Jake Lucky. Like I literally sat down with like my 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 Fortnite people and said, guys, this guy is cheating. This guy is cheating, and he's taking money and spots off of people that are trying really hard and investing so many hours into the game. Nothing happened. That was incredibly hard to deal with. Like as an org owner and as someone like trying to like, you know, make this scene a thing. Let's 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 keep going. Absolutely no way a player could quit for two years, return on a different input, and suddenly be one of the best players in the region on it. They were constantly yeah. being reported in game and in the appropriate discords but it didn't seem like Epic Games had enough evidence to actually ban them. This means- that Yeah, that's actually the kind of the, the hard point with it is that they didn't actually have any evidence. It's, it's frustrating because it's like, yeah, we all knew, but you guys don't know, but there is also nothing you can do because how can you tell? You, I mean, you would assume and hope that the anti-cheat would do it, but like kind of they say, 
I mean, the, uh, up playing out all 12 accounts games have different major three grand finals things if they're an old won. account. The prizing for first place was $20,000, but yeah. it also punched that ticket to the Global Championship. And here's the kicker, even if they come dead last at the FNCS Global Championship, that's still $4,000, so at minimum they've made $12,000 each. But sadly, Volks and Pumpkin missed out on that qualification. Since Volks did miss out on last year's land due to the disqualification, <sighs> and was one place off on Major 1, and now he wouldn't qualify due to obvious cheaters you could understand that is the most historical bad beat in the last two years like there's slayer in like fortnite world cup he got second place like crazy on like all the qual weeks but like this for Volx is like crazy man he's definitely one of the best players in Earth. like it would have been great to see him on land properly and it's just like it just feels bad Damn his frustration there was no way this was repulse playing but everybody knew who it actually was Forbes. Um, I remember I got a TM from Forbes like a while ago. He's like, yeah, I'm mm. just going to go and repost his account. Um, mm -hmm. And so he did. Uh, and he just played mm -hmm. with it. It was really funny, actually, because it, it was like gradual. It wasn't. And Forbes like, used to play with sure repost. Going on the account I first. Back in like do us, it. like chapter mm -hmm. two. Uh, and he's just like, yeah, I'm going to try and win grands. Like that was eventually we kind of have. And he just very quickly yeah, unfolded they did like that. Now Forbes, similar to repost, was a very good player in chapter one and two. He was massive on YouTube at the time, and during his time as a legitimate player, was also one of the best in the region. After playing multiple FNCS with Repulse in 2021, yeah. he continued to compete after Repulse had quit, until one day, he himself got banned. Now, reportedly, Forbes actually never cheated in Fortnite. However, what he was doing was cheating in Rainbow Six and forgot to close the cheat and restart his PC, meaning when he logged I heard Fortnite, this he story. got detected by the any cheat the system, and he ended about that. That, up getting banned from Fortnite. That, that is this so led funny. down the path that, of continually <laughs> playing on alt accounts to play in tournaments, <laughs> and after getting banned on those repeatedly as well, so he fully committed to cheating in Bro tournaments. Bro wasn't cheating, he this accidentally he cheated. That's so crazy. Alden, who you heard at the start of the video, which would start the decline of the OCE region. So I, oh, I yeah. kind of helped him find cheese. Like, this is before I was really making anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this kind of continued for a while. You know, he could play for a little bit, get banned, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Uh, eventually found some stuff where he'd be able to play tournaments. It was him and there were some other OC players like who were pros. I think Forbes was like the one that really started it. Because uh, when you had Forbes, Jalen, and uh, Zora all on alt accounts playing FNCS, that's kind of like a red flag. And then they all got banned and then they all went to play on their mains. Um, and then they got banned. Yeah, that definitely Jeez. started it. When you saw all of these like high tier pro players who, you know, literally a few seasons ago were in NA representing Legit. OCD. Legit. Like, you know, <laughs> so sad, you man. Know. You have a lot of these people in the community saying, why can't I do that too? And yeah, th that's that's definitely what started it, I think. With the alternate accounts repeatedly getting banned, they searched for an option that would <laughs> allow them to go under cover. Look at Timmy watching these, man. Played, Timmy's just like, yep. <laughs> where they win a tournament, it's fairly obvious that they're cheating. But if they get their hands on an account that's placed highly in tournaments yeah, for Luda, years and three. years, it's much harder to detect. So in OCE, the accounts of pro players who have quit are very sought after, such as Repulse's account. Now, for very, very obvious reasons, I'm not going to tell you exactly how they didn't get banned and how they avoided ban detection, but I will say it's not possible without severe hardware modifications, hardware ban avoidance, and then a small user base on your sheet to make sure that you don't get ban waived altogether. Because if you have a lot of users, like... I heard there was also some where, like, people were using printers and... The printers would get hardware banned so instead of the computers. I, I don't know. I heard something about that. I just thought it was funny. They're using a printer to cheat. That just sounds funny. And it's a lot of money. I don't money. know how it works One cheat reseller sent me a screenshot showing they grossed over $42,000 in revenue over the last month from their See, five I don't think it's very uh, smart users. to flex they this because, because uh, their cheats Fortnite will be seeing this. So and they Fortnite, can promote the products. I don't know, Fortnite's man. Like, Fortnite, didn't they sue Fortnite. someone ages ago trying to sell I cheats back in, like, Chapter 1? That's why they're paying people to get the recordings like, rather than actually using I don't know if it's, like, good to be gloating about that. One user on the cheat gets detected. Everyone on the cheat gets detected and ban waived. The clip you're seeing right now is the actual cheat that Forbes used oh, on Reforce's account to win FNCS. <laughs> don't be fooled by this, though. They're not selling this cheat. They are fully scamming you, but we'll come back to that later. Yeah, don't, don't, Forbes don't click was on smart him. when he was playing on the account. He cheated, but he didn't full-on aimbot 200 to 0 dead players through the sky, and he didn't shoot people through walls and make it obvious. 
he hit it very, very well. Over the years of playing on different accounts, he found a different play style that makes it less obvious to players watching the replays. And he is a in good fact, player, to be fair. That may have like, kind of been my fault, I'm not gonna lie. If you, like, want to look I at remember this, this was funny. SP, like, you gotta make sure you've seen them in the open first. Yeah. <laughs> like, obviously, like, you can't just... Because I remember this specific scenario happened. Like, I was using the Juicy account, right? Mm -hmm. And you were the one that actually found this out. And you got I did clue. indeed. I got yeah, you, like, baby. <laughs> you did. And I'm like, no, the reason that happened is because my teammate come, I saw him in the open. So I'm like, okay, I'm good to shoot him. I think uh -huh. I can see him. <laughs> <laughs> so then I opened Twitter like two hours later and I just see your tweet. And I'm like, what the f in fake coming for? This cheat that Moose was using here is the exact same one that Forbes would use to play on Repulse's account. So this was FNCS it seems chapter like a combination of a legacy four, account of season a one, I think. player. Hardware more. I remember like tweeting about that, being like, "This is going to be a problem." Using them and playing to hide Guess the what cheats I was at. made it too difficult for Epic Games to ban them. Jason Repulse were announced as the major three FNCS champions, and over the next few weeks, <laughs> Epic Games made multiple this was content so pieces funny, containing by the way. lead up to the FNCS Global Championship. Which, <laughs> given I had reported them multiple times, I personally found very interesting. Yeah, no, the, the, the comments on those was hilarious. Is, was Jace cheating? He was playing with a cheer, and I played with him. Knew like, that it was not a rebel. On the like literally, a chapter well four tournament. I played with him. Forbes. He was a well, mature. He's also not the only one who was aware of this. I remember not cheating, seeing this tweet of Jace he knew he was with and Jace on with their FPS like, pickaxes. Like, now this man. is strange to me because Forbes was obviously playing on Repulse's account. Jace knew, and then Anon was clearly in the call, so it was clear. Also, Anon was aware that Forbes was cheating on this. Didn't report it, and the reason he didn't report it is because he has protection from the cheaters. Uh, yeah. Reportedly. Apparently this, this is a thing. I don't know There's what a bunch like, of people depth who also, of it they're not actually is. They're not playing at all, but they, they, they're, they're being, you know, told like where to drop or to and just, like, I think that's that mainly it. it. So it's like they just tell scared. them not to drop mm -hmm. and it's uh, mainly just out of like, like don't not, contest me because hey, 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 yeah. I have cheats. Hey, you're not cheating, but land in this area. Yeah. Yeah, land away because we'll be hitting everyone in the 200 meter radius, basically, from here. Something like that. I mean, like, yeah. Exactly. I mean, they obviously yeah. know what they're doing, like they're not NSF. Now, if you're hacking, having the ability to see the names of the players who are in the lobby is pretty it's beneficial bizarre, as you that can is choose part of who it. you want to target and who you don't want to target. I will say, in the region, this is not just an issue with Jace and Anon, however. They are yet to face any repercussions with this, but this is a region-wide problem. Everyone is aware of it. You know, like in OCE, for example, do you think, is it just like everyone up at the top understands what's going on here? Yeah, they understand what's like. We obviously don't give them proof, you know, but like they understand what. Yeah, like in ESL yeah. last year, like I played with Sun, right? And like we won that tourney, and like the whole region was complaining about it because obviously Sun's New York. They're never going to give us another tournament, he, by the way. JBL is never going to give us a tournament. Like, All four players, four different players, who won one of the three majors in OCE this year were either cheating or were associated with cheaters. Everyone, and I mean everyone in OCE, knows that this happens, but if yeah. you speak out about it, they get focused by the hackers and have no chance in qualifying to the international lands, so everyone's just kind of quiet. With the FNCS majors <laughs> being <laughs> online, <laughs> it does open up the possibility for players to cheat their way to cash prizes, but since the Global uh. Championship was an in-person event, this raised a very obvious issue with the repulse. Who's actually going to travel to the Dude, event? Dude, this was going to be so funny. Games, uh, there's the power knew what shoot. the real Repulse looked like. Forbes wouldn't be able to attend the event, and Repulse himself. We were actually so At excited. Point, Repulse was to watch him to play to because, play it, like, for us as a region, it was like, okay, so much I guess this is happening. Let's at least watch job. this like this shit question, show live. Like you know, back to it would have been funny. And they could play in the World Cup then. Would you be able to qualify for the finals or even win? But this was like a really interesting example of the complete opposite. You have a player time traveling forward who hasn't played in multiple years, <laughs> and now they're going to the biggest LAN and See? seeing how well they can play. It would have been During so this good. time they were practicing, uh, they sucked massively. I watched some of their tournaments, and unfortunately the replays are no longer available, so you can't physically watch them. But they played a dual cash cup, uh, died crazy. a lot in five games, and struggled to come top 3,000. It was very funny, and I really wish I had clips of it, but unfortunately you can just see the leaderboard here or something. It's a pretty poor showing for a team who two weeks earlier just won <laughs> FNCS Grand Finals. A few days before their flight <laughs> to Denmark, that, we don't have the enough FNCS evidence. Major 3 winnings were paid out. Meaning, yes, the real repulse was able to claim the $10,000 that he earned that Forbes played for him without getting banned. Now, whilst in Denmark, the first few days were media days. 
where the players shot a bunch of content that would be used for the broadcast. A lot of the players spent their time doing things that were strictly against Blast and Epic Games rules in the hotel and around the area. Now, I've heard two different stories from a lot of different people because I've reached out to as many people as possible on this. The first was that they were smoking and drinking in the hotel room. By the way, they were not the only ones and were punished for it. The second was that reportedly Repulse was telling everyone and I mean everyone, that he wasn't the one that played. This information almost <laughs> definitely got its way back to Epic or Blast, and they probably just ended up kicking them from that. Now, we'll probably never know what the real reason was, because even Repulse wasn't told, because Epic Games' fantastic communication policies rely on that. However, they were kicked and immediately deported back to Australia, and lost out on any potential earnings from this event. They had claimed their earnings from Major 3, as we already mentioned. However, Damn. the Repulse account still wasn't banned until a week later. Now, reportedly, out of the 10k that Repulse made, Forbes was meant to get 7k as he was on the played. However, Repulse is currently holding on to all of it. The real yeah. Repulse no longer has access to this Twitter account. So yeah. this is clearly a scam that's attempting to take back the earnings that Repulse is still holding on to. L probably maybe last Forbes related question. That is also pretty funny. What is the reason it's that like you literally specifically, obviously you said you banned it from your cheat and whatnot. A scenario here. You seem to yeah. be cutting ties. I just don't, I just don't like the scam. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. It's a reoccurring theme. Like, I've kind of just... Uh, so then now he's weaponizing his Twitter artist, by like, trying to like, scam respect, other like, people. This stuff. Like we don't need your, you, you to be our customer. Like we don't need. But you, most of us, you know, your, that is a your scam. subscription. Like you're here because you're a friend of someone who we've trusted, or sure. you are we trusted. And then eventually, what you'll see is that people who you know want, if you, someone is trying to invite yeah, you to somewhere or something, that is mm. you know, well, this is a scam because I saw it on Twitter. It's like the ultimate. You if you like kind of allow somebody to use your software and you just have them scamming people with it. However, this isn't the only scam that hackers do in Fortnite. As of recording, this is currently the Fortnite OG season. Yet this live stream that I just saw is broadcasting gameplay of them cheating in Chapter 4 Season 1, which is almost 10 yeah, months I've seen ago. A couple you of notice, these as well. This is clearly the account's first game, as a lot of the map hasn't even been discovered yet. When the game ends, the footage just restarts. Clearly, they're able to play one game and get banned, and these streams just lead people either to complete scams or cheap cheats that just will get you banned. Twitter cheaters are just as bad. They frequently take credit for other people who have cheated in-game, posting pictures of yeah. other cheaters on the leaderboard and saying it's so them, funny. and they do this to promote their own scams. Uh, I say funny, is, it's no actually very sad, but at this level you just gotta cope with it and see the humor in this situation. Since this scam tweet on Repo's account did actually contain proof that cheating has occurred on the account a few hours after it went live, Repulse was banned from Fortnite. Do you have yeah. anything uh, uh, do you think this is worth mentioning yeah, that we haven't talked uh, about? I mean, I mean, don't, don't, not really worth cheating in Fortnite. Like, even if you, like, I mean, I don't know. This is obviously yeah, not going to stop anyone who's just quitting the game and thinks they can give it a try. I, I just think that um, it typically won't work out for you and you, you are going to get banned eventually. It's just not really worth it. You know, if I could be honest, if I could go back, like, I wouldn't have cheated in the first place. I would have, like, really? played legit. Yeah, yeah. Well, how come? Yeah, he was a good player, man. I know, because like, I wasn't even bad before the cheat. So, like, I still would play. <laughs> I just sort of have to be going around from account to account. Anyway, OC region, we're prepared to do what we can to try and uh, level up the scene. But, uh, yeah. Big thank you to Resell for making this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, guys.